When I saw this tweet from Federico, I was really happy because I believe Evernote has to be super customizable. Each one of us has a different My Evernote and things like this, they help us customize our Evernote. So let's take a look at this here. So show note counts. This was already here before. I use this all the time. I love this. It's good, especially when I'm uh, looking at the notes I have in my shortcuts area. Those notes are action notes, and I need to know how many notes are inside those notebooks. Uh, then show recent notes and shortcuts. I'm so glad this is still here because although I love recent notes, I don't like them on the sidebar. I prefer to use them on Evernote Home. I have the widget, the notes widget, and I use this all the time, but I always go to Home. I think that's a much better place to have them. And that's one thing I'm missing on the mobile client. There is no easy way to get to the recent notes. Uh, then there's show notebooks located in spaces. Let me try to explain this because the spaces are a Teams feature and they are, they are not uh, stacks, but they kind of work as a stacks, but it's more of a space um, that many users have access to, the same notebooks. There's some confusion there on, on, when you're using a, a, a Teams account, the spaces, the stacks, your notebooks, the team notebooks. I, I, I have already shared some of my suggestions with the team. I hope they at least implement some of them. Then show tasks, show task and event creation buttons. Let's move to the next page here. I never use this task and events buttons. To be honest, I don't use note either <laughs> because as you know, when I create a note, I first open the notebook and then I create a note. There is no way I'll ever create a note without first choosing a notebook. There's even an article, if you are interested on that topic, take a look at this article. I think it's a huge waste of time adding that step like that inbox. Uh, I don't like that idea. I don't use that. So if I could, I would even remove this note here because you can create a, a, a note with a shortcut. I don't know. I, <laughs> this, is, this would be crazy, but I think I would do it. So let's, uh, sh let me share what I would remove from here. I would keep, I would definitely keep home shortcuts because everything uh, I, I do, all my main notebooks, my action notebooks are inside short, uh, this, this shortcut space. Notes, I'll probably keep notes. Tasks, I don't use this. I only use the tasks widget. I never ever click here. Files. No, <laughs> the day files become something more similar to how Obsidian does it, I'll probably go back to files, but I don't even remember this option is here. Then there's calendar. I also don't use this one. I use it on Evernote Home. I prefer to have this dashboard on Evernote Home, so this would go away too. Notebooks, I think it's a good idea to keep the notebooks here, although I don't have many notebooks anymore, so most of them are, are shortcuts, and then there are maybe two or three that I keep uh, uh, inside the notebooks, but not as a shortcut. Uh, tags, I also never use tags here. I, I come here just to rearrange tags or rename tags. If I wanna make changes on my tags structure, I would, I would click here, and if I need to do that, I can just bring the, the, the menu back. But the way I do it is going to the notes list and filtering the tags from there. So uh, I need the, the notes. Uh, shared with me, never use this. Trash. I'm of the opinion that we should never delete uh, uh, empty Evernote trash because this our uh, Evernote doesn't the number and the gigabytes and the megabytes we have on Evernote is not what counts 
into our uh, limits. It's the syncing. And the trash is already synchronized. So there's no reason to delete or empty the, the trash unless you need space on your computer. So I never empty the trash. From time to time, I do it, but I, it's something I, I think it's a, a good idea, like a, a backup <laughs> to, to never delete. Never is too long, but almost never delete the trash. So I would keep home, shortcuts, notes, notebooks, and remove tasks and events. Okay, let's take a look at my account, my second account, but it's pretty similar to my Rio account. Uh, this is a, a, a large screen, but on my MacBook, the, the screen would cut right here below notes. I wouldn't uh, see tasks, files, none of this. So you can imagine that having less will be better. For example, if I don't have these two guys here, this will go up and then I, I would see notebooks, which is the only one I would keep from below notes. So I would see everything even on my small MacBook Air screen. I love that Benny Spons is doing all this test, trying new ideas, but this is making this sidebar too long. In the past, we would have, I guess, four or five items here. It was shortcuts, notes, and notebooks share with me was uh, it wasn't here in the beginning, but it, it it was here a long time ago. And then trash. That's what we always had here. It was much uh, shorter, and now it's too crowded. At least in my opinion, especially because I don't use many of this. Uh, options here. So having the, this ability to remove items and rearrange items here will make a big difference. I think Banning Spawn has to do everything to let each one of us create our own Evernote. What about you? Did you like it? What would you keep here? Please let me know in the comments below. That's it for this one. See you soon.